Hi, this is Dr. Green, and I wanted to show you uh, how to use Excel to get the measures of central tendency uh, for your session two assignment. So I've got an example here where I've got two groups, and the data represent height in inches, so maybe I'm comparing males versus females. But in, in order to get the summaries in terms of uh, the data analysis tool pack, you're going to click on the data tab here then click on data analysis and then you want to find descriptive statistics in that list go ahead and click OK and then it's going to ask you for an input range and we're going to click in that input range and you're just going to drag over your data including the two column headings and then make sure you check labels in the first row because those are our two group labels um, click output range and then click in that box and you are just going to click the upper left hand corner of where you want your output to be and then uh, make sure that you have the summary statistics box checked and then click OK and so here's our output uh, we are interested in the means right here and then also the median and the mode So then they also want us to uh, summarize the information in sentence form. So let's note a few things before we do that here. The mean for group A is 61.3 and the median is 59.5. Oh, those are fairly far apart, a couple units apart. So that means this distribution is skewed. Also notice for mode here, it says not applicable. That means there is no mode. If you look over this data, there's no repeated values, so no mode. Uh, notice for group B that the mean here and the median pretty close together. That means we have a symmetric distribution. And then the mode of 48 there, we've got two 48s here and here. We've also got two 58s. So Excel will tell you only one of the modes when there are multiple modes. So notice here that uh, there are two modes. So our summary of the data in sentence form might look something like this. So we could say, for example, that uh, group A has a higher mean height than group B. Uh, however, the mean for group A is quite a bit higher than the median here. Uh, that indicates that the heights for group A are positively skewed. So they're skewed to the right. Uh, but in, in contrast, mean and median for group B are close together. So that indicates here that you have a symmetric distribution. We also want to note that uh, group A here has no mode because there's no values that are repeated. And then group B has two modes, which are 48 and 58. So that goes real quick if you do that in Excel. They also have another example that they want you to do where they've got three groups similar to what I have here. We're going to go through the same steps. So on the data tab, we're going to click data analysis. We're going to make sure we've got descriptives checked. Click OK. And then for our input range here, we're going to drag across our three groups of data. And we are grouped by columns. Make sure we click labels in the first row. And then for our output range, we're just going to click on the cell D1, be the upper left hand corner of our output table and then make sure you have summary statistics check click OK so here again we've got three means and then we've got median and mode for the three sets of data so here uh, we don't have to be quite as detailed with our summary we could just note something like the following so we can note that um, there we go. So my summary was just that the mean, median, and mode for group A were 38.17, 36.5, and 35 respectively. For group B, the mean is uh, 34.7, the median is 34.5, but there is no mode. Uh, and again, that is because we got this NA for group B. And then uh, mean and median and mode for group C were 35, 35, and 35 respectively. Now again, when you specify the mode here, you want to look back over your data and make sure that you don't have repeated modes. 
Okay, and we don't. And I just noticed actually our mode is 33. It was uh, 35, 33, 33. So this should be 35, 33, 33. So something like that is good enough for the problem with three sets of data.